in Hollywood, Hollywood is run by fear and avoidance. Yeah. I mean, right? I know you. I know it's simple. Look, you and I both know that from being yeah. here. But the whole, the I'm whole. I'm scared shitless right now. <laughs> I live in constant state of fear all of my life. No, but but yeah. seriously though, like this, yeah. there. That's why there's so many no's because there's so much fear of like I'm gonna lose my job. I can't put my you know my balls out there. I can't kind of take the risk. And that's why there is. That's why the films that come out of the Hollywood system are what they are. And occasionally you'll get some really interesting stuff, but that's not their business. Their business is to put out product that sells to the yep. masses. And that's the way the game is played. The, the days of yep. the days of the experimental studio movie, they're there, but they're rare. They're rare. Few and far between. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a different business than it was even five years ago, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's a completely different business. Um, the stakes are higher. The budgets are higher. The audiences are pickier. You know, they have to make such different decisions than they used to. You know, when there was a DVD market, you didn't have to get it completely right because you were still going to make another 60 million, you know, on right. DVDs. Right. And, you know, I, we made a lot of programmers at, at my first job at Sandstorm, and they made a lot of money. You know, we did the Sniper movies oh, with Tom Berenger. Oh, that, that franchise has made so much money. So much money. I, we did we did Sniper 2, 3, and 4, you know, and we but did But it's kept going. First. It's kept going, though. I, I, they kept going we did we did not there they yeah. kept going but you know we did two three and four we did them for about five five and a half million dollars plus with the rebate that we got for shooting in you know thailand or budapest you know it's like four and a half million dollars um and they each grossed like 50 million dollars you mm -hmm. know on on dvd and you know package sets and stuff like that and so those days are gone and the days of of developing you know, it used to be when I started in development, it was like the 50% rule. If you could get a good idea 50% there, we'll take it the other 50%. Now it's like you need it to be 90% done with a package before we're even going to read it and think about making it, you know, and, you know, somebody at Netflix already has to want it. <laughs> You know, it's with it with an LOI. <laughs> yes, I mean it is a completely different business now than it was ten years ago. Um, the upside is there's more ways to break in and more places to, in more platforms to get your stuff made and a wider array of stuff being made. Mm -hmm. um, outside of the studio system, the downside is that the studio system all want exactly the same movie by exactly the same person. Um, for exactly the same budget <laughs> and mm -hmm. and it is hard to crack into that system much more so than it even was um and i think because of hollywood's attempt at rebranding itself mm -hmm. and, and diversifying itself and finding new voices and new talent and new things execs are even more careful a hundred times more careful than they were three years ago you know uh they are looking for very specific things now whereas before it was like look just have a great idea and have a great script and now it's it's not just that you know um and so writers have to do their due diligence and not follow the trends because it never pays yeah. to follow the trends but you have to know what the trends are so that you can try to get ahead of them um, you know, I, I said years ago, um, that very soon there's going to be a major rom-com, a major LGBT rom-com that, you know, that hits and that's going to be a new big thing, you know, and then Love, Simon came out and that, I mean, there's a bunch of things, you know, in development right now that, that fits that bill, especially for Netflix. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's trying to find that next thing while knowing what, what people want to read I, you know um, what I, I i've actually you know i i know a lot of screenwriters and a lot of professional screenwriters and i've read some of their scripts some of their specs mm -hmm. and i and I, I sometimes i'll i'll get done reading it and i'm like why is it this made 
Yeah. Like this is amazing. Like what? like I see Meryl Streep in this. I see, you know, I like I I mean it's just so good because I've read yeah. bad scripts. I write bad. I've written bad scripts. So I've read <laughs> but I've also read bad scripts as well. And when you read something of quality, it's just obviously they know the craft, they know the thing. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, they have credits of movies that you and I would if I said out loud you would go, "Oh, that guy." And yeah. and they even have a star attached. Mm-hmm. And it's still Nope. It's insane. You know, I read just as much great stuff from writers who aren't getting produced as I read crappy stuff from writers who are getting produced. Um, and, you know, that just happens. It, it just happens. It's a numbers game. It's a referrals game. It's a budget game. There's a million reasons why good scripts don't get made and some bad projects, you know, get sold or, or get made. Um it's almost, it's not usually the writer's fault every once in a while, but um, that's that's just how it is. I've had plenty of projects over the years that I was like, this is my no brainer. If this doesn't get made, I will eat my shoe. And, you know, and, you know, shoe. Shoe. Um, with a little, little A1 steak sauce on it. You, a little, lots, little sriracha. A little sriracha. A little bit of ketchup. Yeah, it goes down <laughs> easy. And then there's other stuff. It's like, this is the worst piece of crap. I've ever read how is this getting you know how is this going in to every major studio with major producers attached it's not good um that's just something you have to accept 